Hey there, welcome to day 22 of our Get Up and Go Challenge. Sharon Hornell's from here, and our topic today is RP comes from RPs. Relationship progress comes from routines and processes. Our tool today is going to be routines, habits, processes, systems, procedures, standard operating procedures, uh, frameworks, flowcharts, whatever you want to call them. That is our tool today, and we're going to talk about that with respect, with respect, with respect to making progress in our relationship. I want to grab my notebook and my homework and show you. Yep, I did my head, heart, and intuition yesterday, and I came up with my number one thing is to call my mom on Saturday night. So I will call my mom on Saturday night. But since it was Thursday, I wanted to do something immediately. So what I did is I took action and I sent her some pictures of my granddaughter and my daughter. I just sent her, I think, three pictures. I sent her two pictures of one little video of my granddaughter trying to eat her foot out in her stroller. It was hilarious. So I, I did my, third, my second thing, even though I commit to doing my calling her every Saturday night. I'd love to talk to my mom at least once a week and every Saturday night. Sounds like a great time to me. So today, how do we take that action and or the action that we decided that we were going to work on with respect to our relationship and how do we turn that into, if it's moving us in the direction we want to go, you might not know yet. Depending on what you did, uh, it, you might not have any idea whether it's moving you toward what you want or away from what you want. Remember, everything we're doing is to fill this gap of taking us from where we are right now to where we want to be. Now, I want to have a better relationship with my mom. Whatever um, you want to do with respect to your relationships, we're just filling that gap. Well, how do we fill that gap? We fill the gap by picking an option, picking options, taking action, and then making progress. We make progress by doing more than one thing, right? Very seldom do we do just one thing, one act, and voila, everything changes for us. Unless you go out and you buy a lottery ticket, for example, and you win the huge lottery, like hundreds of millions of dollars, probably everything isn't going to change instantly, right? So we have to do things over and over again. What's the best way to do things that move us in the direction we want to go over and over again? I say... Come up with a process or a system or a routine or a habit or a ritual, whatever you want to call it, but a thing that you can do and you can put on autopilot. So for me, I'm just going to automatically, Saturday night at, and I haven't picked a time yet, i got to think about and find out exactly what her schedule is on Saturday. Pick a time Saturday that I call her. Maybe it'll be in the afternoon right before church because she likes to go to Saturday evening mass. Maybe it'll be right after church, but sometimes she goes out to dinner with one of her friends from church, so... I, I'm not sure exactly what time, but I'll pinpoint the time and decide what's the best time to call her. Now, we'll probably call her tonight because we're having a sleepover with my granddaughters and we're going to the pumpkin patch and that's always fun. So for sure, I'll send her pictures again today, but we might, uh, we might, we will probably try to give her a call as well. But again, she's busy on Friday nights, so we might miss her, but I'd like to video call her with the kids because she loves to see the great grandchildren. Who doesn't love to see their great grandchildren? So how do we make the action or an action that you're taking automatic and repetitive? I like to schedule it. I actually will schedule it. I'll take my cell phone and I will put a reminder for the things that are really important that haven't become a habit yet on my phone. And I'll set an alarm with the description of what I want to do on my alarm. So when I pick a time for the, and I can, I can do it on repeat, right? I can set up a special alarm, a special tone, Depending on what kind of phone you have, you can do all kinds of cool and crazy things. Probably way more crazy things than I even have a clue. This is just the, the couple tip of the iceberg technology things I figured out that work for me. But I'll, I'll set that alarm Saturday night. Let's say Saturday at 4.45, I'm going to call my mom. Well, that's not, let's say 4.30 Saturday nights, I'm going to call my mom. I'll set that alarm. I'll say call mom on it or love mom or something on it or send mom love or call mom with love or something. I'll, I'll, I don't know what I'll call it yet, but I'll call it something that reminds me when that alarm goes off, that tone, I'm calling my mom. And I'll just, if I could automate it to make it speed dial and call her automatically, which is probably a way to do that, I will figure out how to do that as well. But I want to automate that process, and I do it by scheduling, creating a habit or a routine that I don't have to think about or remember consciously to do something. If I have to remember to consciously do something all the time, every day, chances are life's going to get in the way and I'm not going to do it. Does that ever happen to you? Probably. It happens to all of us. So what is something that you can 
commit to doing moving forward to guarantee you're going to get progress toward what you want. Try to think, not don't try to think of something. Think of one thing today that you can do with respect to relationship. And again, it doesn't have to be something that you do every day. I mine won't call my mom once a week and I'm going to supplement that with messages and texts and pictures, right? But uh, or just messages that I love her or, or to think about something or that I have a memory or something. Uh, but it doesn't have to be every day. But if it's not every day, in order to remember to do it, make sure that you find a way to schedule it or remind yourself. You know, you can just use Post-it notes. I'm a huge fan of the uh, Post-it notes. These happen to be regular Post-it notes. These are recycled paper Post-it notes. But <coughs> do whatever works for you to make sure that you do the things that you're committing to doing to create the life that you want. That's what this is all about. That's what this challenge is all about. Making your life easier automatically. Make it as easy as breathing to do the things that are moving you toward what you want in each area and aspect of your life. And again, it doesn't always have to be big things, but every little bit of progress moves us in the direction we want to go. So our action item today is to share one thing that you are going to automate to make progress in your relationship moving forward. Maybe it's a date night with your significant other. Maybe every Friday you're going to go on a date with your significant other. Maybe it's improving relationships with your kids. So every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if you've got three kids, you're going to spend an hour with each child 100% with that child or a date night with your kids. Lots of people do that these days. Think of something that you can do and automate to make improving the relationship you want move automatically toward that better relationship. Uh, usually it involves communication or time and attention spent with a person, right? All right, that is it. Any questions, hit me up. Oh, for action items, share what you're going to automate. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. And we are going to hop into, I don't know, because I haven't decided yet, but we're going to hop into one of the other six areas and aspects of our life. Oops, wrong thing, wrong graphic. Where is, oh, it's right here. We're going to hop into either emotional, spiritual, mental, uh, contribution, communication, or confidence. I don't know which one yet. I'll see what the mood strikes me today, and then we'll pop into that. But we're going to go through the whole soul framework, the whole story, options, action, and progress all in one day. And we'll take two, well, I, I tried to do four tools. It takes too long. We'll do one tool that can apply to each of those areas, and we'll go through that tomorrow. Questions asked, otherwise I'll be with you tomorrow. And I'm excited to jump into and show you how quickly we can go through the whole soap framework. It doesn't have to take four days, right? We can do it like that, and pretty soon it'll be automatic, and you won't even have to think consciously about it. And you'll get the better results, the best results for you, out of any change or challenge that comes your way. All right, catch you tomorrow.